Dios. Um, Co, okay, you've just been asked to remove rocks. Um, rocks are a fantastic store of belief. Um, my big tip, first big tip to you is don't oh, don't destroy too many rocks because later on they're a really good way of getting that and uh, topping up your belief. Um, they seem like a negative, but actually later in the game when you're not mining, they become a positive. So be careful with your rocks. Complete them. Build them. Here we are in the timeline. Now, we've gone through a ton of revisions, haven't we, on the timeline? Yeah, we started out as a book, and then um, where did we go from a book? I think we had many iterations of the timeline. Yeah, line. many iterations, and really what we wanted to get to is a feeling for you um, that you were in con Right, you've received your first proper abode. Now, abodes have followers in them. There are two types of followers that live in this type of abode. That One are breeders, if, yeah, if an abode has breeders in, that means more people will be bred, fairly obvious that. They also have workers. Now you will notice that a little pip appears over an abode when a worker has something to do. You can click on uh, that pip. At this moment, that's pretty much the only thing you can do with workers. But very soon now, you'll be unlocking leashing. There's lots of powerful Complete things them. that you can do with leashing. So it will seem a little bit grindy for a while. We just want to get you totally used to the idea that workers live in abodes, breeders breed, abodes give you uh, things like belief. So bear with us because you know the real strategy starts coming in a little bit later.